guys, my name is Laura and today I'm feeling hella sluggish. Like I just feel gross. I just, I don't even know. I don't feel really good and my sheep are calling. <laughs> anyway, I'm not feeling the best today. So I thought, why not do a face mask? So I was going through like my little face mask drawer cause I've got a few that I recently purchased. Um, and I saw this one that I bought from iHerb. Um, I'll link it down below if you're curious. Sorry about my sheep, I apologize. I need to have the window open because it's so ridiculously hot today. Today I thought that I would use the Skin Food Egg White Pore Mask. So this is what it looks like. I've never used it before. I've never seen anyone use it before. So I thought that I'd just film my first impressions for the camera today and just kind of see how it goes. Um, I do have quite congested pores, especially on my nose. Um, so what does the instruction say? Um, so on the back of the packet, it says skin food, egg white, pore mask, a pore refining mask that contains something extract and eliminates pore clogging impurities. Egg white story. Egg white is loaded with albumin that consists of amino acids to use. After cleansing, apply to the face except the eye and mouth area. Wash off with lukewarm water in 10 to 15 minutes and you get 125 grams in this container. I honestly don't even remember how much this was, but I think it was under $20. I will look that up after I put on the face mask. Oh, it says open here on the top. What does that do? So it's got the ingredients list there. If you're curious, the first ingredient is water, then albumin extract, titanium dioxide, glycerin, bentonite, and then I'm not really too sure how to pronounce the next one, but it's some type of alcohol, then canolin, more alcohol, glycerol. Yeah. Sorry about my sheep, <laughs> they're going crazy. I think because they can hear my voice and they just want me to come play. But it's like, guys, no, I can't. I need to film a video. <laughs> so it is fragranced. So that's something to consider. And it is like more of like a pasty consistency. I was honestly expecting it to be more egg whitey, to be honest, but that's all right. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using this mask brush that I got from Glam Glow. And I'm just going to scoop a little bit onto the back of my hand. This is really, really fluffy when I dig my spatula into it. I'm just gonna close the lid so it doesn't go bad faster. I don't really know how much you're supposed to use, but I've taken out this much. I'm gonna to touch some and see what it feels like. Oh, it actually feels so light and airy. That's cool. This is so easy to apply and a little bit goes such a long way. I'm so sure that I've used way too much product. It is highly fragranced though. So if you do have an irritance to fragrance, then bear that in mind. Normally I put a face mask onto my neck, but I don't really feel like this is the type that I would put onto my neck. I'm also not really too sure if this is the type that dries either, but we'll soon find out. I used, I got way too much product because I've still got so much left, but I'm not going to put that back in the container because that's gross AF. I'm just going to put it down my neck, whatever. It's not causing any irritation at all. It's actually quite cooling on the skin. Okay, so this mask has been on for about three minutes now and it's definitely getting more cool. Like it's really, really cooling. At first I thought it was just because the product was cold, but this is definitely a very, very cooling mask. It's currently 8.06, so this mask has been on for about 11 minutes now. I'm going to look up close if I can find a mirror. I had one close by and then it just went walk about. Anyway, so looking up close, you can definitely see that there are a lot of cracks in it. I'm guessing because I was talking and stuff before and I was just like jamming along to my music. Um, but it has definitely set because there isn't really much white at all. There's still definitely some moisture, but I feel like that might just be where I've applied it a little bit thick in some patches. It's definitely not like Glam Glow, how it like sets and you can see the oil being pulled out from your pores. So I'll be excited to see how this actually performs in terms of what my pores look like. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the shower. I'm going to quickly, actually not the shower, I'm going to go to like the bathroom. I'm just going to quickly wash off this mask and then I'll be straight back to share with you guys my final thoughts. I'm not actually going to look in the mirror because I want to show you guys my raw reaction. So yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes. 
Okay guys, I am back. I'm sorry that the lighting had to change. I did have to turn on a studio light because it was just too dark and my camera was just so grainy. Like you could still see me. It was just really, really grainy and you could see like all random like green and like dots and it was just, it wasn't good. Anyway, so I turned on my studio light behind me so that's why the, the lighting's a little bit off. Um, I did wash my face and my skin feels so supple. Like, to be honest, it feels like any other face mask has been on it, like any alright one. Um, my nose feels quite soft, like it doesn't feel as bumpy. It still feels bumpy, but just not as bumpy as what it was before. Also, when I was washing my face, it got in my eyebrows, and my eyebrows kind of washed away because I only put some brow powder in them, and my mascara also pretty much went away as well. In terms of my pores, it didn't really do that much. My skin does feel super soft though which I like, but it didn't really do what I thought it would do. Um, it kind of made my pores like the tiniest bit smaller, but nothing like, unless I'm like in my face like this, I can hardly even notice. Um, it did remove some congestion from my nose, but not anything to be like, wow, it's amazing. Yeah. Overall, this is a pretty average mask. I'd probably do it again just to use it up because it's not a terrible mask, but it's definitely not like a, oh my God, hold the press, you need to get this now type of mask. You know what I mean? Especially if you want it for like pore refining and stuff like that. I really don't think it's that good. It's okay, but you don't see much of a difference, if at all. Overall, this mask is all right. Like it makes my cheeks feel really, really supple. I'd probably use it again for that but I wouldn't use it for like a pore refiner one. Like it might've made the tiniest difference if that. Um, it's nothing that I would say, wow, you need to get it, like wow. The texture of this mask was nice. Like it, it was super airy and not airy as in like a mousse and like how it's got the little bubbles in it and stuff. It's just airy as in it was nice and light to put on the skin. A little bit does go a long way, so that's good. But at the end of the day, this mask didn't do much for me at all. It refined my pores like the teeniest, tiniest bit, nothing dramatic. It didn't unclog my pores, which then again, it doesn't say that it would do. But yeah, overall, it doesn't really perform for me what I would like a pore refining mask to do. It's not a bad mask, but it's not a good mask either. So yeah, I'll leave that one up to you. I didn't see dramatic differences. My skin does feel quite soft though, like especially on my forehead, but for a pore refiner, it didn't cut that for me. I am on the iHerb website at the moment. iHerb is an American site. I do have a coupon code for your first order with them. It gives you $5 off or $10 off. I'm not really too sure, but I'll link that down below for you guys. I do like this mask because it does make my skin feel quite fresh and I will use it for that reason, but I won't be reaching for this if I want to refine my pores or anything like that. If you just want a nice mask that is quite affordable, then I would recommend this one. It's quite nice. But if you want one that like refines your pores and stuff like that, this doesn't do dramatic differences. You know what I mean? Like it will do teeny tiny bits, but nothing dramatic. And I just hit myself in the face, but that's okay. Yeah, it's good for like refreshing the skin, just making you feel a bit nicer, but it doesn't do any, doesn't do much in terms of physical visible differences, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I feel like that's all for me for today. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to try any other masks. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a very wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.